YouTube, My Muscle Project, welcome back to another video. Something a little bit different today and what I have for you is how I bench pressed an extra 30 kilos in 100 days. Come on. Wait, wait. Now, the whole story goes like this. So we created this thing called the Training Journal for those of you that don't know about it. It's basically a journal where in 100 days you set a training goal, your number one training goal, and it just helps you stick to it and follow it. So, Raf and I took up the challenge ourselves and I chose to go for a three plate bench press 140 kilos. So I managed to hit the goal in 100 days, I bench three plates. Um, so where it was up from when I started the cycle, I actually hadn't tested right before, but I had tested maybe three months before that and I managed to hit 110 with a pause. And that was quite tough. That was probably like an RP9, so it was like 90% effort. Um, but in terms of, you know, going for 30 plates, it was a long way off. It was a long way off. Now, I chose not to do the bench press goal with a pause, so I did it without a pause. So potentially with a little bit of momentum, I could have benched like 115. So we're looking at a PB of somewhere between 25 to 30 kilos, which for someone who's been training for a while is a lot. You guys would know, so I've been lifting for like 10 years. Um, I haven't been doing heaps of bench, so the bench is one of my more sort of amateur, less developed movements. Um, so I learn a lot uh, in the process of 100 days. So let me take you through it. There were three main things that I focused on uh, when programming for myself, and I actually hadn't programmed for myself for a long time. So this is really the first time in probably six, seven years that I programmed something for myself and I have to give credit where credit is due. I did use a lot of the training principles from some of the podcast guests that we've had. So the first guest, I'll just put him here. Um, I had Quinn Hennock's podcast, that was incredible as well. And then Dr. Mike Isratel as well. His podcast that we did on training was also super helpful for helping me get those goals. So you guys can check out those podcasts after this video or you can head on to them now. Uh, but yeah, they, they were absolutely pivotal in me achieving my goal. So first thing was planning for volume and tracking the whole thing. Now this is something that I'm really bad at personally. So it obviously was helpful to have the journal there to, to help me track it. But setting out a plan for the 100 days was super important because I'm the kind of guy that will just go in week by week, day by day and just make it up as I go. And I knew I wasn't gonna hit that goal if I was gonna do that. So I just broke it down into 30 day chunks uh, with the last 10 days being a deload into the test. So the first 30 day block was hypertrophy. The middle 30 day block was somewhere in between. And then the third 30 day block really looked like just pure powerlifting. Um, so that's how I broke it up on the 100 day, 100 day scale. So what it would look like is I would on the first block, I would bench press three days a week. In the second block, three days a week. In the last block, three days a week as well. But the days were very different in which I bench pressed. So the first day was a heavy day, okay, a high volume heavy day. The second day was more of a varied uh, mixture of lifts, just kind of hitting the whole shoulder joint to keep the whole shoulder joint healthy. Um, because as you know, in a podcast we did with Eugene Teo, um, that podcast is right here. He was talking about how if different aspects of the shoulder, different muscles of the shoulder don't have the strength, uh, don't have the capacity to take high loads and, and heavy weight, if you're just training one plane of movement and say like your rotator cuff's not strong enough, then it's actually going to inhibit the pec, it's going to inhibit the tricep from taking that load and overall that's why you'll miss the lift. So it was important to me that I had that second day in there to kind of just balance out the whole shoulder and make sure everything was developing and keeping strong. And then the third and final day, uh, it was like a speed day. So if you guys are familiar with the West Side Principle, it was, it was about a really dynamic movement, a uh, really fast movement, not even going close to failure. So that, that was really important setting that out. The second thing that was super important and pivotal in me hitting this goal was my exercise selection. So I thought about exercise selection because there's so many different ways you can basically do a bench press. Um, how I narrowed it down was based off the most important thing, which is my weakness. And your weakness is, in a bench press, it's the point at which you get stuck. It's as simple as that. So, for a lot of people, they might get stuck at the bottom. Some people, you know, get stuck halfway. For me, I get stuck 
you can see this like there like I'm almost at lockout and like it's just that little last bit I always get stuck and people are like man you had it you're right there but really the sticking point even though it's right at the top it may as well be right at the bottom it's still the end game for me so I knew when I was picking my exercise selections um, you know for the more intricate stuff later that I would have to choose something which helps me overload that certain position. So this was stuff like chains, bands, uh, board pressing, um, half presses, different tempo work, all that sort of stuff. So um, as you're watching this, you can see all these different exercises that I've thrown in there. Um, this is just to show you guys some of the different ways that I chose to go about programming the bench press exercise selection for myself. Another thing as well is I had to learn bench press technique. So one of my clients, Kim, She's actually a former powerlifter now turned functional fitness athlete. She gave me a lot of advice on the bench press. So as you can kind of see uh, in this video here, the main thing that you're really focusing on in the bench press, some of the things I changed was making sure that during this arch position, which I didn't go too crazy with, I really loaded up my upper traps onto the bench and tried to keep my lower traps and my lats off the bench. Um, the other thing was when I did go for the lift, I took a really deep breath rather than into my chest, into my diaphragm, which created a more stable kind of platform for me to press out of. And then the other thing as well was just learning how to unwrap the bar properly. Now, because I didn't use spotters um, through this whole, whole testing cycle, um, what I had to do was I really had to learn how to safely and very efficiently unwrap the bar without it fatiguing me. So that is some things that I practice, setting the pins at the perfect height, setting the position at the perfect height and practicing that unrack over and over and over again until it was perfect so that when I was unracking three plates 140, um, it was set in the right position, it was set exactly where I wanted to each time. So that was very, very important, very pivotal. Okay, third and final thing which I believe was the most important thing to helping me achieve this goal and something I have never applied in my own training before to this degree, auto regulation. Okay, so auto regulation is this fancy word that gets thrown around. Basically, all it's saying is when you go in on the day, whatever is programmed, do it to the best of your abilities, but don't overdo it. Okay, so if you're feeling like shit, don't go super hard, don't go super intense. If you're feeling really good, this might be a day to kind of step it up and go a little bit harder. It's just things like that. So, as well, on a day, you know, if you set yourself something like this needs to be an eight out of 10 effort, from week to week, day to day, that might be a different weight. Eight out of 10 might be different on Monday in March versus Monday in April, right? They're just totally different ball games. So that is one thing to consider as well is, and one thing I had to consider as well is just not going too hard. And so through that entire cycle, I did not, and I've never done this with a strength cycle before. So through the entire cycle, I did not miss a single rep, okay? I stayed pretty smooth the whole time. I didn't even, I didn't really struggle on any heavy sets. So everything was a fast lockout. Everything was smooth and literally did not grind through any reps. Now you may be like, oh man, you're not going heavy enough. It's not intense enough. You need to like grind to like get that heavy weight. That, I just don't believe that anymore. Uh, at least for me, you know, just keeping those reps, the technique sharp, keeping it smooth, still hard and challenging, but never going close to that failure point. I mean, the results speak for themselves, right? So guys, that was the summary of the bench press journey. Um, I really enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed programming for myself so much and got results that I honestly believed I couldn't do at the start, which is why I set such an ambitious goal. That I've decided to do it again. Um, I would encourage you to join me on the next one with a training journal. Um, I'll put a link below where you can pick up your version of the training journal with a discount code as well. So. Raf will be joining me as well. He hasn't decided on his goal yet, but basically what we've decided is come April 1st, you can join us on a barbell goal. So you must pick a barbell movement. Um, I'll be shooting for 160 kilo power clean um, and then we'll take it from there. So good luck. If you guys enjoyed this video, let us know below in the comments. Um, if it's the first time here, hit the subscribe button um, or just hit the thumbs up button. It, uh, it helps us out. It shows us that you like it and it tells us that uh, we should probably make more of these videos. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.